So what could be better than Injustice? Well, how about Injustice 2? Yes, Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about Injustice 2. That's right, guys. This comic book is the prequel to the highly anticipated Injustice 2 video game. I love the original game. The original concept of the comic was really good. Now, I never finished reading the original series, but I wanted to jump on here with this this new volume of, of the comic book series. The title is known as Two Speeding Bullets. The writer is Tom Taylor, um, and our penciler here is Bruno Rendado. Uh, the artwork is really well done. I love the way the characters are drawn in this book. Batman looks good. Superman looks good. It's absolutely outstanding. Uh, you'll see the images as I show you go through the story here. So, what was this story about? What was my final outcome? Well, let's talk about Injustice 2. So this book really opens up right away with a great dialogue between Batman and Clark and how Batman has captured um, Superman and uh, and he's captured and Clark gives Bruce this speech about now you can change the world to the way you want it and if you change it that way, this place is going to be will will look m terrifying if it's under the bat and uh it was quite interesting and he kind of rubs it in his face he's like you lost alfred you lost all the robins you lost everybody and then he sits there and he talks to um bruce and he and he goes yeah turn your back on me like you always do and it was just a really intense conversation right from the get-go from this start Harley Quinn makes her appearance in this book, and she's just, she's awesome. Um, she's kind of like Batman's sidekick now, and uh, she's sitting there listen to, listening to Batman, and she's like, you want a cupcake? You know, it's just, it's so funny. And she sits there, and she goes, you know, I changed my ways there, Bats, and uh, you know what? It's okay. You, uh, you know, I might think about being your Robin, but... Let me give, give me some time. It, it was really a lot of fun there in those opening moments. And Batman sitting there going, saying that Clark's got many reasons to be right. How, um, you know, he could shape this world and he needs some help to do it and things like that. So really quite interesting introductory to this book. And then we wind up seeing actually Harley Quinn get captured uh, by Amanda Waller in the book as well. And then you kind of get introduced to what the Suicide Squad looks like. And the team looks um, a little bit more larger than normal. It seems like there's more members in there. You got your normal, like, Deadshot and Boomerang and Katana and, and Croc. But you also had, like, Killer, uh, not Killer Frost, uh, Cap oh, Captain Cold in there. And then you got some other characters in there that I personally don't recognize. But it was quite interesting to see that. But she didn't want to fold into Waller's little tricks. Then you wind up going to a different Earth, and what happens is you wind up seeing uh, Canary and you wind up seeing Ali uh, being held at this Earth uh, because of Dr. Fate. And then you get to see their son, uh, uh, and his name is Connor, and he's like shooting like little suction cup arrows at, at Dr. Fate, which was quite interesting. And then there was this miscommunication where you thought that Dr. Fate was going to kill Dina in, in the actual uh, issue, uh, which I don't think was really necessary. It was kind of just to throw you off there. But little do we know is that we find out and, and really he says it's safe to return uh, and to go back to their Earth. And then by the time you wind up getting to the end of this issue, you wind up uh, coming across... Um, Batman who is sitting there going to take out Amanda Waller and the rest of the Suicide Squad and the ending of this book was just like holy cow uh, two guns up and it's not just guns up it's machine guns and it was quite interesting because it's like it fits the name of this title perfectly as you get to see him hold up these two machine guns and the actual saying two speeding bullets was referenced 
from Clark uh, as well uh, in this book because he's saying that he's chasing two speeding bullets to stop his parents from dying his whole life. So really quite an interesting book. I really like uh, the characters so far that were shown in this book. And if, the, the, if there is a book that um, can really give these characters more layers in a, in a just based off of a video game, it's Tom Taylor. I think he gives these characters lots of emotion, and so I can appreciate that from him. Everything he writes is really well done. If you haven't read anything from him recently, you can read X-23, uh, Superior Iron Man, the original Injustice. Uh, just he writes a really good story and really fleshes out those characters. So this is a really intriguing issue to see where this story is going to go from here. What is Batman going to do now? Is he going to reshape the world in his own vision uh, after Superman was in charge all this time? So it's going to be quite interesting to see what happens with this title. I liked it. Good read. Four out of five stars from me. Quite intrigued to see where it goes. So guys, in the comments below, tell me what you thought of this particular issue. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Or did they just trying to, you know, run this series into the ground? Who was your favorite character in this issue? And guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. Until that next comic book review, you can check out ComicFrontline.com. Don't forget about our live show each and every Tuesday night, 9.30, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as we talk about this week's comic book news, the top five, and a whole lot more. So again, guys, as always, thank you for watching. This is Mike Spider-Slayer signing off. See you soon, guys. Bye.